Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Julia and oh, that sun is so nice. If you can hear, I've lost my voice a little bit. I had a couple big days, um, which is unusual for me because I'm quite the introvert. So today's class is going to be a low energy, stretchy, just quick class. If you're feeling a little bit low energy like I am, but you still wanna move your body, stretch out, move that lymph around and do something nice for yourself. So grab a pillow just in case. I'm kind of gonna improvise this, but a pillow can always come in handy. And we'll begin today lying on our back. So meet me on the mat. All right, get nice and comfy. Draw your knees to your chest and gently sway side to side. Nice deep breaths into the belly, as always. Just waking up those hips. Maybe you're outside like I am. Soak up that sun and the wind. Let it give you some life. I surely need it today. You guys, let's extend our arms overhead. Extend those toes to the sky. And we're going to flex and point for 10. I can feel it in my calves already. For nine, I know that was a very slow 10. <laughs> for seven, six, really flex. Really feel the stretch through those calves, maybe all the way up the hamstring. For five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Option if you have a pillow, you can place it under your bum here. Move the hands down beside you for a little bit of extra support or keep them up for a challenge. And we're gonna point and lower very slowly for 10. Feel as if your legs are lengthening out of the hip sockets as you lower. So it's like this beautiful arch. And let's say we're at eight, seven, six, five. My abs are beginning to shake. Four, three, Two, I'm not there yet, so let's do four, three, two, and one. And there's a plane because there's an air show in Toronto today, so I'm going to pause. Okay, the plane is gone, <laughs> kind of. So let's bring those knees back to the chest. Let's come into some gentle twists. Legs release over to the left, arms open, body twist towards the right. Just get in. Some movement into that digestive system. An option to place the pillow under the knees as well. If that right shoulder is a little bit off of the earth, you want the right shoulder to stay connected. So ants on me. Classic. Nice big inhale and exhale. Release deeper into the twist. Coming back through center, let's release the legs over to the right. Arms open, we twist left. Again, option to place that pillow under your knees. If this, oh, the flowers, if this left shoulder is off, we want it to be in contact with the earth. That really allows the, the torso, the intestines to get that nice therapeutic effect of twisting. Two deep breaths here. Let your belly expand with the inhale. All right, and if you feel ready, coming back through center, let's rock up to a seat. <laughs> Scooting our bums back, and we're gonna extend those legs, toes are flexed, inhaling together, arms up. Growing nice and long through the spine. If you feel like you're rounding at all, place the pillow under your bum. See if you can sit right on the edge of it to create a little bit of a tilt with your spine and that will give you more space to lengthen. And also bend the knees as much as you need. So we want to have a nice, strong, straight spine here with a little bit of a tilt. And our fingertips grow, we lengthen and then our shoulders relax away from our ears. The ribs draw towards each other, coming out of any back bend. Chin slightly tucked. 
And now let's everyone go ahead and bend those knees. We're reaching up, up with nice length and over, coming into our first forward fold. We want to always have some connection between the tummy and the upper thigh to protect our low back. So bend those knees honestly as much as you need. And then straighten them out as much as you need to because we do want to feel that in the calves and the hamstrings and we want to feel release through the spine and the neck as well. Oh, I feel it. <laughs> I'm so stiff today. Maybe very gently. It's not swaying. What's the word? Oh, my brain today, you guys. Very gently rolling the neck from side to side in a half circle figure. Beautiful, let's inhale together. Our belly expands, we lengthen through the spine. Exhale, releasing deeper. Very gently rolling up. We're gonna bend the left knee, coming into a nice little half center split stretch. Inhale, both arms up and behind the head. And then we exhale here. <laughs> Inhaling again, up and over with that right arm. The left elbow draws back to get a nice stretch in the left side of the body, opening up the heart. And again, with your next inhale, feel like you're lengthening all the way out through the spine at the top of the head. Sorry, my eyes have been closed this whole time. I always encourage you to close your eyes when you can. It really helps you tune in with the sensations in your body and your breath. So as I was saying, let's inhale and lengthen. Feel like your leg is lengthening out. Your elbow is lengthening. And with the exhale, we melt a little bit deeper. And then coming back up through center and going ahead and switching sides. Right knee bends, left leg extends. And let's unite our breath with an exhale. Big inhale, arms up and behind the head. Relax into the exhale. Inhale, left arm up and over, and that right elbow draws back. And you'll really feel that in the right side body. And wherever that arm is, whether it's reaching your toes, whether it's on your thigh, your shin, wherever that arm is, is perfect for you today. Closing your eyes if you feel comfortable and really expanding with your next inhale. And releasing deeper with the exhale. All right, gently winding back up. We're gonna come to all fours. So our hands are under our shoulders, knees are under the hips. Let's exhale together. The tailbone leads the way, tailbone tucks chin towards the chest and we inhale the tailbone grows back heart open gaze lift exhale tailbone tucks chin to chest inhale tail back heart and meeting in neutral. Inhale, right arm to sky, twist. Really growing through those fingertips. Exhale, we release. Inhale, left arm to sky. This body suit is questionable for this pose. And exhale, release. Inhale, left leg extends, right arm extends. Nice and strong, we're drawing those ribs together. Strong core. 
and again. Let's see if we can have equal growth through those fingertips and out through those toes. So we're really lengthening in all directions, which helps with balance. And let's touch down. Breath in whenever your breath comes. Left, left hand extends with the right leg. I told you I'm, I'm off today. Again, let's deep breath in, growing evenly. It's kind of the feeling of someone very gently pulling you through those lips. And let's exhale, touching down. Bum to heels, coming into child's pose. Use your pillow here if you need it. You can use it under your forehead or under your bum. Just a couple breaths here. And I will pause again, perfect timing, because the next fighter jet has arrived. Next inhale, gaze forward, we're coming back to that tabletop position, except a little bit more extended this time. Walk your hands forward a touch if you need. Weight shifts over those wrists. Elbows stay in, and we're gonna lower very slowly for 10. So our knees are down. Let's exhale together. Nice big inhale and lower. Breath out for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, starting to feel it in those arms, 5, 4, 3, hard. 2, we can do it guys, we got this, and 1. Beautiful. Let's clasp our wrists behind our back, forehead on the mat, stretching out, and release the hands just under the shoulders with an exhale. Inhale, heart lifts, cobra. Those toes are pressing firmly into the mat. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Inhale, lift, option to clasp those hands again. Another fighter jet. Starting to shift the weight forward and back for eight, seven, six. Little tiny bend in those elbows. Body is nice and strong. Five, four, three. We got this, guys. Nice and easy. Two and one. And we're going to lower the knees. Swiveling to the left, left leg extends, left arm comes up and over. Nice little side body stretch here. And back through center, coming to the other side. We swivel right, right leg extends, right arm comes up and over. Should feel really nice. Meeting back in center. Stepping those toes back up to plank, hips up and over down dog. Nice deep bend in one knee, opposite heel comes to the earth, and we switch. And just walk, walk it out in your own time. Meeting in neutral, weight shifts fully onto that left foot. The heel comes as close to the earth as possible, and our right toes float to the sky, right knee bends. You'll really feel that in the left calf and hamstring. Three deep breaths here. I encourage you to close your eyes. Arms are nice and strong. Two. 
tune into your body. Third exhale, we switch sides. Right heel draws down to the earth, left knee bends. Closing the eyes again. Left foot comes to the earth. Let's exhale together. Inhale, weight shifts forward to plank. Knees down and we lower for three. Exhale, two, one. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, all fours, tuck toes, down dog. Inhale, shift forward to plank. This time, option to keep those knees up. Exhale, lower, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. My hair is crazy, sorry. And big exhale, down dog. Inhale, right toes to sky. Don't worry about height, you guys. Exhale, knee to the nose comes to the outside of that right elbow and hips lower to the earth for pigeon. If this isn't comfy for you, if you have anything in the low back, come down right away or come onto your back. I'll show you an option in a moment. Otherwise, take a moment here. You might place that pillow under your right glute. Closing the eyes, feeling nice stretch in that left hip flexor, the right glute. And when you feel ready, releasing to whatever depth is challenging, but comfortable. And we can ease into it. So go a little bit at a time. If you're not using the pillow under your body, option to use it under your forehead as well. And for anyone who is on their back, sorry, that took me a second, but I'll show you kitchen option on your back. So feet, knees are bent, feet flat on the mat, right knee bends, right foot crosses over top the left thigh, and you gently catch behind that left thigh, or to go a little bit deeper, you catch the shin. And the right knee draws away from your body to intensify that glute stretch. So this is always an option as well. Wherever you are, we're taking three more breaths here. I'm gonna come back to my other pigeon. And your last deep breath in. Expand as always. Maybe those fingertips even reach out, reach forward if you're on your belly. Exhale, releasing further. Nice. Inhale, gently walking the hands up, or if you're on your back, simply switching sides. And if you are, actually everybody lets me to down dog. So wherever you are, find your way to down dog so that we can copy what we did on the first side. All about balance, right? Exhaling together. Inhale, left toes to sky. Exhale, knee to nose, knee to the outer elbow, and lower. Finding your pigeon, whatever is right for you. Trying your best to match what you did on the first side of course. And again, you can use that pillow under the left glute under both hips or use it for a little bit of height with your forehead. Whenever you're ready, releasing fully, little by little, 
to your death. Nice deep breaths. The breath always helps us move through discomfort. Two more breaths, you guys. See if you can really release. So if you're holding any tension in the forehead or in the jaw, just let that melt away. Next, inhale, let's grow as long as we can. Exhale, releasing deeper. And very gently coming back up to a seated position. You can gently sway those, windmill those legs back and forth. Finishing up in a little ball to, for some final spinal release. And coming to a comfortable seat, whether that's sitting on your heels or cross-legged, eyes closed down, palms up to receive some energy from the day. Because if you're like me, you need it. You may have noticed that with my lack of eloquency in speaking in this class today, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Let's finish up with three deep breaths here. Thinking of one thing, one person, one part of nature, animal, joy, passion, anything that you feel grateful to experience in this lifetime. And when you're ready, blink open your eyes and have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me. <laughs> Goodbye.